think we're live. <laughs> I think we're live. Are we live? Yep, we're live. Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome to another Simply Diagnostics video, courtesy of www.simplydiag.net. So today we've got a 2013 Mini. Let me just turn the camera around. We've got a 2013 Mini with the N18 engine with the following fault codes 3042 NUC sensor signal input B short to ground 2 Charlie 58 charge pressure control switch off 2 Foxtrot 81 super knock system in emergency operation <laughs> that's it we're back afternoon Simon afternoon Ryan afternoon Carl <laughs> You can all hear me okay. I think I've just destroyed my live stream. So, alright, good afternoon. Yeah, so an N18 engine, 10 fault codes. So, basically, um, this vehicle's had a second hand engine fitted, and uh, driving down the road on final road test, it went into limp mode, and those codes are a result. So, what we want to do, hey, up, Corey, how are you? Mukta, Ian. <laughs> so, what we want to do is uh, check the knock sensor operation and see if we need to go any further so pulled up a wiring diagram wiring diagram courtesy of all data and we've got <laughs> something plugged in wrong it's not a key on fault it's only after driving so we've got the DME at the top coming out of pin 33 yellow wire going into the knock sensor and then the ground going back on the black wire back to pin 34 to ground okay so what we're expecting to see is a bias voltage of some sort on the yellow wire and an AC signal riding on top of it so let's have a look what we've got we're going to use today we're going to use Terrace because we like to swap it around a bit so we're going to use the Veris today set up on the Verus I'll take it right back to the beginning for you sorry about the glare I'll just connect my wires up it's got yellow to yellow black in black how easy is that and then green in green and then the two grounds connected together channel one the yellow channel we've got we don't know if we can see it we've got it back probed into pin 33 and channel two the green wire we've got it back pinned into pin 34 what was that gosh no. <laughs> the lumps what oh god hey, what's going on here there we go Hey up Chris, how are you mate? <laughs> Thanks for the thumbs up, have a good day mate. <laughs> so, scope set up. Let's see if we can get that in the in the shade a little bit. Scope set up relatively easy. The only problem with the Verus is it gets all the all the wires get tangled up and the dongle gets tangled up. So scope set up very easy. I've got channel one on a one volt. AC signal channel 2 on a 10 volt DC signal but what we'll do is for now we'll just put them both I'll just start the scope running we'll just put them both on a 10 volt DC okay you can see channel 1 is at 0 channel 2 is at 0 okay Key in, button on, wait the mandatory few seconds, sorry about the music, not my choice, I do not own the copyright to this music, right, ignition is on, and what we can see there straight away, we've got one and a half volts on channel A, which is the yellow, and zero volts on channel B. 
Yeah, so that's that's my bias voltage. What I can do with a tap, with a gently tap the knock sensor. So I'll just grab a ratchet. Just, this is a snap-on ratchet, but any ratchet will do. Other other ratchets are available. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna the knock sensor is buried under here under the starter. You've got to break your hand in three places to get at it. So all I'm gonna do is just gently tap like that. Stop my scope, zoom out, and you can see nothing at all apart from a little bit of noise there. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to magnify that AC that's riding on top of that DC. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop my scale down to one volt, and I'm going to AC couple it. And just drag my channel up a little bit if I can. So you can see now already I've got a little bit of a little more noise on that. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm trying not to short the starter motor out. I'm just tapping gently. Stop my scope. Zoom out. And there we can see now. zoom in there we go we've got a signal off the knock sensor yeah so we've got a good signal so why is it saying short to ground afternoon Peter yeah why is it saying short to ground I've already done the wiring integrity checks so I've disconnected the sensor and disconnected it at the ECU I have no short to ground, I have no short to each other wire. So what, what can it be? And this is only happening when it's driving down the road. My suspicion is that the signal isn't large enough so it thinks it's shorted to ground or the sensor is getting hot and failing when it's hot. So I've got the, the math disconnected at the minute so it runs a bit rough. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start the vehicle up and then we can see so it, it'll run a bit raw because the because obviously the maps off and there's our there's our signal there we turn peak detects off A little bit more time on the screen and you can see each individual event but look how small that signal is so we've got one of two things that's happening here to my mind we've got one of two things happening here either the engine is knocking when it gets down the road um, obviously I can't test drive it because I'm isolating um, I certainly don't want to risk breaking down and, and getting in contact with other people this car has been fully sanitized before I worked on it so either the sensor's breaking down when it's hot or the engine's knocking under load and uh, yeah so that's where we are but that's basically how to check a, check a two wire knock sensor we've got a bias voltage on one side and a ground on the other and then we've got an AC signal riding on top of a DC bias voltage so I hope you all enjoyed that video if you did please give me a thumbs up when it's uploaded drop a comment in the comment section that really really helps um, if you speak another language and it's Arabic could I please kindly ask you to to um, write it in some language that, that, that I can use Google Translate to <laughs> but you're right yeah um, AST I use for all my adapters <clears throat> yeah if I could kindly ask you if, if Arabic is your native language if you could if, if you know any other language that uses conventional text if you could type your comment in conventional text then I'll be able to use Google Translate and respond to you appropriately all right so I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching you're awesome <laughs>